Hey everybody, what's going on? It's John281 here, and we're back again with some more Pokemon Uranium. In the last episode, we, uh, uh, we got the rest of the Pokemon that we needed, a couple of the rest from around here. We don't know if there's any more. Um, and we helped Theo fight off a pack of wild nuclears, and then fought one off by ourselves, which proved tr quite the challenge. But... We were able to do it, and we ran back, healed our Pokemon, and that brings us to where we are now. And we're looking to progress this way. I believe this path just leads left of a ways. And we're looking to catch up with Theo, who went chasing after some weird new Pokemon. It looked a little bit like a weird dinosaur of sorts, or something. <clears throat> but... We are headed that way. We're just going to run from everything because we don't have the resources to expend fighting things along the way. Um, we're cutting it close with our capability to defeat Pokemon, so it might be a little tricky. Um, I'm trying to do what I can where I can. See, there's more of these guys. Okay, I'm actually going to replant that Halfly Berry. Because there's only one. Is there could only one girl in these bushes? Okay, well. <clears throat> no need for that then. Um, I guess we have to fight these guys to get through here. Which means we're probably going to have to run back and heal again. Because this is a really tough battle. Especially considering I'm 14 levels above them. My new way on is, and still really struggles to defeat them. Which is crazy, considering my nuclears don't do, like, shit all against them. Which is crazy. I mean, they could do some decent damage, but... Goodness gracious. Being able to defeat them is really hard. Um... Headbutt. That one's gonna be the biggest problem. And you should poison fang this one. Okay. Damn it. He's like super resistant to poison fang apparently. And Nucleon is super fucking weak to that. Okay, so what I really need to do is headbutt this guy. And he can flamethrower this guy as well. We need to focus this guy down because he's a huge problem. There we go. I don't... Uh, it's really frustrating that they always focus on Nucleon. Okay, well, there goes my heavy hitter. Does this team also have six people on it? Because that's going to be a huge issue. I don't know if we can... Each time we do this, it's just, it's just a matter of luck of whether we can defeat them or not. I'm going to go with... We don't have the luck this time. Um... And I have you switch in. I wish you could switch which position they're in, because they always hit the left one. Um, air Slash. That guy. I don't even care. We need to get this guy out of here first. Before we do anything else. Smoke screen him. Super effective. Okay, not bad. That might help a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> but it missed. Second Arbok, okay. Let's use uh, Air Slash on you and Poison Fang on you as well. If we can just focus them down one at a time. That'll be great. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, use Poison Fang on him. That did nearly nothing. Chimaconda is down, okay. Okay. Shit. That one's gonna be an issue. Um, I need to get my 
Nucleon back up for this. <clears throat> um, let's see, Air Slash, you, and then for you, use on Nucleon. <clears throat> okay. Come on. <clears throat> not bad, not bad. Oh, my God. I might be able to hit him down and out. Um, you know what, for now, I think I'm just gonna use dive on him. That should knock out Bariette and get Glass Slug off the field for a hot second. If that can get Glass Slug off the field for a hot second, I should know. Oh, maybe. If Glass Slug is hit underwater, he can't be hit, correct? Let's hope he can't. Okay, that kills the Bariette. That kills the Arbok. And Glass Slug avoided because he's underwater. Perfect. Dude, if I can give Dive to people, Dive couples perfectly with those massive field area attacks. <clears throat> okay, let's see what this thing's all about. Oh, what? The user covers the target's body with a massive down that harshly lowers its attack. No. Don't want to learn that. Okay. Glass Slug leveled up, that's awesome. <clears throat> Dive, hit him. Awesome, awesome. Um, you're gonna use... Air Slash on him. You're gonna use Dive on him. Okay, awesome, awesome. That's awesome. Now I need to go heal. Okay, so I'm starting, as, as I'm fighting more radioactive Pokemon, I'm finding... I'm finding which team members work best together. Like that Page and Glass Slug. Glass Slug's really weak, but he can get out of the way of Page's field attack and still get a little hit in. It's not much, but if I can start getting him some more levels, that will definitely be a good pairing, especially with it being a water a water ice and a uh, fire flying. That's a really good pairing. I feel like we have a lot of diversity there. Um, especially since he can dodge out of the way. So if I just alternate, and especially if I can get Sunny Day going, Sunny Day can, if I can start up Sunny Day on a turn where um, he's where Glass Slug is on the field, and then I use Dive, so I use Dive and Sunny Day at the same turn. Sunny Day goes, makes fire attacks stronger, he uses Dive, it goes underwater, and then, ooh, I have not seen a bear yet, yet, but I already have a, a Basha, so whatever. Um, and then, while, and then the next turn, he comes up and out of the water and hits the person, so after Paja uses the field attack, which does extra damage because of Sunny Day. So I can get a really good wombo combo going there. <clears throat> so I like I like that pairing. That's a great pairing. Um, so those two work really well together. Nucleon is just powerful and pairs well with basically everyone. Um... Or I guess Nucleon, Nucleon, I guess it must be described as strong enough to to uh, manage for both, to compensate for the, the their allies' weaknesses. <clears throat> what would be really great is some steel or iron or whatever it's called. Some metal type Pokemon. I think it's steel type is what it's called, but it'd be great to have some of those guys. But I don't have any. So, not on me, and I don't know where or if I can get any more. 
I don't know if I can fly off this island thing. Okay, so I'm gonna look down here. No, we can't go down. An Arbok, okay. Get out of here, Arbok. I don't care about you. And run away. Just run away. Run away. There we go. There's Theo up there. Hmm. Is there anything down here? No, no, there's not. Okay, so let's go up to join Theo. Except for the Pokemon standing right there. Okay. Run away. Judge Pokemon, look, it's that Pokemon again. It looks like it went between those trees. I'm gonna follow it. Okay. Either that, I'm gonna look over here for a hot sec. Okay. Never mind then. I guess I'll follow Theo into the grove. This place. Is it just me, or is the air different here? Gen 21, what does the Geiger counter on your suit tell you? I don't believe it. There's no radiation here at all. I can breathe in here without a mask? How is this possible? Do you know what this means? Something has purged the radiation here, and I think I know what did it. Let's head further inside. Okay. I love the sounds in here. That's awesome. Okay, can't grab anything off that tree. That's fine. Oh, whoa. There it is, and there's more than one of them too. Judge what one. I'm gonna catch one of them now, alright? You should catch one for yourself too. Whoa, that's crazy. It's a hazmat Pokemon? Hazma? Can I hurt it with nuclear type attacks? No, I can't. It's completely immune. Holy crap. Oh my god, that's a tank of a it has heal it has serious healing capabilities and it's immune to radioactive attacks. Which means uh I don't think any of my attacks can hurt it. No, nope, no. Nope. Those still count as melee attacks. Okay. Okay. It healed its health back. Let's do a headbutt. Okay. Headbutt. Okay. Wait a second. Holy crap, this Pokemon's insane! It's immune to radiation damage, to radioactive attacks. It has healing capabilities and it has radioactive attacks. Holy crap, give me this Pokemon now. Gimme, 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 gimme. One, two, three, four. Oh, so close. Which is maybe good, because I think I want to catch it with a different ball. Ow. I'm going to use a Premier Ball. Let's see. One, two, three. Damn it. Shit. Oh my god, it regained so much of its health. Headbutt. Recover again. Okay. Oh man, it restored so much of its health. Okay, so I'm gonna use headbutt and then a quick attack. Hoping it doesn't use a recover. Oh, I don't know if I want to try a quick attack. I'm gonna try it anyway, because it's either gonna kill it or bring it down to very, very little. Damn it. Shit. That's not what I wanted to do. 
Let's try this again. It's so hard to whittle him down that far. Headbutt. Okay. Oh, wow, that was a lot. Okay. Premier Ball, use. Okay. One, two, three. Damn it. Okay, come on. That's not what I meant to use, but that's fine. One, two, three. Ah. Dang it, this thing's so hard to freaking catch. Premier Ball, use. Come on. One, two, three. Yes! I caught it in a Premier Ball, too. It was awesome. Overcoat Pokemon. They appear in the aftermath of nuclear fallout. They feed on radiation and can clean an irradiated area over time. That's awesome. Now I really want to get back and get access to that. That's awesome. It's incredible, Jumpy One. We gotta tell Kellen about these Pokemon. This is Kellen. Is there something the matter? No, but we've discovered something amazing. You're not gonna believe this, boss. Well, go on. Oh, um, it's a Pokemon. A new kind of Pokemon. It's a nuclear type, but it isn't hostile. It's not even radioactive. This is just a guess, but I think it eats radiation. We're in the area inside- we're in this area inside of the hazard zone, and it's completely clean. I don't even need to wear my mask anymore. Theo, that's dangerous. Put your mask back on right now. Even if you don't see any evidence, it might still be radioactive. I promise it isn't. We checked out the Geiger counter on the hazmat suit. It's totally radiation-free. It's bizarre. If what you're saying is true, then... This could completely change our strategy. Excellent work, Theo. Gentleman 1, keep me posted on any new discoveries you make. But remember, your primary goal remains the same. If we don't stop Kiri, we can't begin the restoration process. Your geolocators say you are not far away from the power plant right now. It's due north. Kiri is there. Find them and end this once and for all. For Tandor. Your dad sure knows how to stay focused on a singular goal, but he's right. It's cool that we discovered this, but we still got a, we still got bigger fish to fry. Let's get moving. Okie dokie. Bye-bye, small hazmas. Does Hazma evolve? Ooh, that's an interesting question. I want to go get that Hazma if I can, because that Hazma will be incredibly important. Oh, okay. Immediately into another fight. Ah, oh, ooh, ooh, that's not great. My, I forgot to heal my Pokemon. That's what I was going to go do, but apparently not. Um, headbutt the living shit out of that guy. Okay. Yeah. Ow. That's not great. Nucleon's unconscious. That's one issue I have, is nothing deals less than 50 damage. So it's, at best, I've got four hits before I'm unconscious. Um, let's go Chimaconda. Okay. Okay. Everybody slows down quite a bit. Fight, use. Flamethrower on Bariette. Okay. Guess I won't do that then. Send out another Tropic. That's fine. I'll flamethrower him instead. Super effective. Radio Acid. Excuse me? It's not very effective. Okay. Super effective. Awesome. Who's coming out now? Fight. Use flamethrower on Tanskir. Ow. Okay. I'm glad they're hitting the Gera rule because the Gera rule can take most of this damage. And it's burned, which isn't great. Didn't it hit him with an acid attack? Why is it burn? Well, I guess acid does burn. That's just not the connection I had with the acid thing. I don't know. Carpites burn. Flamethrower the Tanskir again. 
or should I flame throw the other guy? Sudden strike, ow. Flamethrower. Super effective, he's unconscious. Awesome. Boom. Iron head. That's super effective if I remember correctly. Yeah. Okay. Man, this Gara rule is really taking some burn damage real bad. Um. Uh. It's poison fang that guy. Oh, that doesn't do shit all to him, does it? No, it doesn't. Shit. Man, they're focusing down the Gara rule. Jesus. Okay, fighting type is not great for Gara rule. What else you got, man? We need something else. I wouldn't even turn down another Gara rule. What is that? What did that do? It hurt, that's for damn sure. Okay, let's use Page. Luchabra, okay. Um Air Slash on that Mariette. That should deal some decent damage. That's good, that's good. Okay, Shadow Ball. Don't like that. That hurts a lot. That hurts a lot. Okay, Special Defense Fell. Beat up that Mariette, awesome. Okay, that does no damage. And we're just gonna sit here for 45 minutes as we deal, I think, a single digit of damage every hit. Which is awesome. Maybe two digits, three at most, but even three is pushing that. Oh, that one might have been four. Oh, okay, right. It's a whole barrage of attacks. They deal a little bit of damage. So we're gonna just gonna sit here. How's you guys did? Hey, we did it. Um, air slash that guy. Boom. That barrier is now out of play, and the Lucha Brush should be able to take out this one quite an easily. Awesome. That's a lot of XP. That hits me. That knocks me out. Okay. I was going to be close. It was just enough. Okay. Oh, it has Moxie, so it gets stronger. Awesome. Which really builds combat. Knocked him the fuck out. Super effective. Awesome. Okay. Okay. And he's knocked out. Do they have any more Pokemon remaining? Evidently they do. Evidently, they do. Bro, go, Trophant. Um. Hey, this is their last remaining Pokemon. Oh, no, 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 they still got a chance here. This, I think, might be their last two Pokemon. Um. Confuse Ray on the Tans here. Ooh, that's gonna hurt, I feel like. Ooh, yeah, that hurt. Ooh, yeah, that hurt a lot. Yeah, see, buddy? You gotta be careful with Tanskir. They're real hard. The nuclear Tanskir are real hard to control, but... Mmm, motherfucker, do they hurt hard. They hit hard. Ouch. Confuse Ray on him. Awesome. That's gonna be super important. Hey! He's got a Chimaconda, too. Okay, that slows both of them down. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so, okay, everybody slows down a little bit, um, strength on him, good, good, awesome, 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 and I'm gonna go ahead and do that, boom, hits him hard. Uh, sure. Um, unsanitary slide is probably the problem. It might also target them. This is literally the exact same thing, only this one does more damage and has less uses. So yes, upgrade sludge to sludge bomb. Okay, awesome, awesome. Okay, that's gonna hurt a hell of a lot. Okay, yeah, I'm unconscious. But he also hurt himself because of recoil, and that's why you don't use self-damaging attacks. 
I mean, we didn't really defeat them to sort of knock their asses, their own asses out. Our path is clear. It's time to get to the power plant. Let's do this together. Theo joined you. Awesome. Cool. I'm gonna go ahead and... Hey, can you do me a favor? Okay. I'm glad you joined me. I'm so ecstatic to have you fighting at my side all the way back to the health point at the very beginning of this whole path. He's going like, where are we going? This is the wrong direction. We have to go the other way. We're going... This is not... This... We need to go backward the other... This is not the right... Okay, if we can just... We gotta go... Okay. Oh wait, no, hold on. All my Pokemon got healed. What? God damn it, this is confusing. Okay. Run away. So hold on a second. Let me check my Pokemon. Okay, they've all been healed. I'm always confused by that. So, uh, we can turn around. He's like, yeah, now we can go. I'm just like, I look, all my Pokemon were knocked out. And now... I uh, were... Uh, now they're not I'm knocked out. I don't... Uh, I, I, okay. Holy crap. What the hell is this nonsense? Grr. Oh my god, there's so many Pokemon. Good lord. Hold on to your butts, ladies and gentlemen. This is gonna hurt and take a long time. Okay, so... Fight. Headbutt. You can do poison bullshit, which I don't like. So I'll do that first. Okay. Ow. Okay. Okay. That's the poison shit I was I was being wary of. Okay, he's unconscious. That's great, that's great, that's awesome. Okay. Um I'm gonna half-life you. I might still be up after this. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now Nucleon's unconscious. Awesome, awesome. Gera rule, I need you to carry the damage here. I will try and beat up the 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 Bariettes really fucking hurt you, and I get that. So I'm gonna try and, and tank them as best as I can. I'll I'll keep the fighting types off of you if you can if you can keep dealing damage because nothing can really hurt you all that much. Okay, so air slash you. Sh oh god. Boom. Okay, that's good. That's good. Iron head, that's good. Okay. Now what the hell are they gonna bring out? Tan skier, that's fine, that's fine. Which means we're gonna be left with those other two. Um Let's air slash the Arbok. Ow. Okay. Guess we won't be doing that then. Okay. Man, the fucking Gera rule is so OP in this game. It doesn't even look that interesting. Um, let's see, Chimaconda. This is going to be an issue because we're going to be fighting two at the same time. No, there's no. There's another Tansker. Uh, okay. Look, let's focus down the Arbok first. Flamethrower. Him. Come on. Come on. Yes. Good. Got him out of the way. Now we need to focus down... Nuclear Slash. Ow. Chimaconda is unconscious. Rightio. Ooh, I wonder. Hold on.
I'm gonna send out Glass Slug and see if I can get him to dive under. Because if I can get him on the field while all this shit's going down. There's another guy. Fuck. Okay. Fight. Let's dive and hit you. Never mind, I'm dead. That just wasn't even fair. Okay. Iron head. Okay. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Let's bring out Tanskir. How about? Okay. So fight and use hidden power on the other Tanskir. Now, hidden power, okay, super effective, okay, ouch, damn it, again, iron head, oh man, this is going to be another case that I have to let well, this is going to be close, but I, I think I can survive to the end of the battle. Um, Confuse Ray on you. There we go. Okay, I think Propin's unconscious now. No, he's just on fire. Confuse Ray, okay, awesome, awesome. Being confused. Okay. Oh, yes! Oh, I love Tropin's Shed Skin. Just get rid of that shit. Get rid of it. Okay, ow, again. Hurts a lot, and applies a burn. Sometimes. Boom. Get some poison going on him. Okay. Okay, now how are my Pokemon doing? All healed up magically. Okay. I don't. Anyway, I think we're actually gonna go ahead and you know, hold on. Let me see if I can get Theo turned around. Okay. Nope. I can't. Well, I guess uh, we're gonna go ahead and end the episode here. Uh, made some good progress. Our Pokemon keep getting healed. I assume that's Theo. I guess. I'm not sure. But yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.